welcome back to Mrs Hewitt's Spelling at Home, the Key Stage 2 word study session and I have a new root morpheme for you today. Um, it is, it is this, pressy, okay, this is from the Latin, um, pretium, meaning the value or the price and then it became precious in French. Um, so straight away, hopefully, especially from that French, you'll be thinking of the word precious, okay? Um, and that is going to be one of the words that we talk about later. So all the words that we look at today will have this root morpheme in the middle. So um, you should know how it works by now, hopefully. I'm going to show you the morpheme frame. You can build your word sums by attaching the prefixes and suffixes to our root and then we will talk about the words that you have made, okay? So I'm gonna pop this up to the screen. You can pause the video and then you can build your words by reading across, okay? So here we go. Okay, let's see how many words you got there. Um, oh, I've just dropped it on the floor, hang on. Right, there we go. So um, the first word that I've written there is precious, okay? And we use that word quite a lot if we say that something is very precious to us. And it comes from that meaning of having worth or having a lot of value, okay? Because the word price also comes from this same root, okay? So the price we put on something is basically how much worth it has, how precious it is to us. So um, precious. Now this worth noting, the spelling, if you listen to that precious, it's got that sh sound at the end. Now sometimes, um, a bit like with shun, it's a t-i-o-n, a t-i-o-u-s, but whether it's a t or a c depends on what the root word is. So because pressy has the c in it, because it comes from price, um, and it comes from our root, our Latin root, and it's related to the word price, which might be a good way of remembering, you can know that it's the sh with the C, not the T, okay? That's a good way of remembering which sh it is, is thinking about what's my root word here? Should it, does it have a T in it or does it have a C in it? Because that's, that's basically whether you put the T or the C for the sh or the shush, okay? Um, our next word, we've got at, appreciate appreciate so again if you appreciate something because that app um is the same as add as a prefix which basically means to um or towards so if you are um appreciating something it's you're giving worth towards it you're showing that you, it has value because you appreciate it so um appreciate there we've got app and appreciate there together you can see how the, the meaning of the word that we know now actually comes from meaning of the separate morphemes. Um, here we've got appreciating. Now because I've added, it's one of our classic rules here, the drop the E, add ING. Um, it's actually any suffix that starts with a vowel, you need to drop the E um, if the preceding morpheme ends in an E. So we had our original word appreciate, we've added ING, so we drop that E for appreciating. Okay, so it's just a different verb form, but the spelling is important because we drop that E because our suffix starts with the vowel. And then I've, I've got a even longer word there, appreciatively. So again, how are you acting towards something? You're acting appreciatively um, because you appreciate it. So, um, or um, you, it's appreciative, um, it's how you're acting towards it. So we have got, um, again, dropping the E because you start your, suff your additional suffix with an I, drop the E, add the IV appreciative, how you're feeling, I'm feeling very appreciative, I really appreciate it. And finally, there we've got de depreciate, okay, depreciate, and that is to do with something going down in value, because this um, prefix here, de, um, actually can mean, uh, to de like decrease, means to go down, so to depreciate actually means that it gets lower in value, so if you've got something at home, um, you talk about something's worth, sometimes with antiques and things like that, or even a house, or a car, you can say it depreciates in value over time. It goes down, the price of it goes down. So you can see how the meanings of D and pressy meaning price together means down price, basically, um, the price gets lower. So 
hopefully you're starting to understand how we can look at the meanings of the separate morphemes and work out the, um, how that relates to the meaning of the whole word. It's a really useful skill to have when you're reading, if you come across a word that you don't know, if you can pick out a root word or pick out some morphemes or think about similar words that you know. So again, you might think, oh, precious, I, you know, I relate that to price, therefore I think it's to do with something to do with worth. It's a really good skill to have to help you decipher new vocabulary if you're um, struggling with a bit of reading, you come across a new word. And that's why, again, word study is good for your spelling and it's good for your vocabulary. That's why we love it so much. OK, your final job is to practice spelling some of those words. So you might want to pick precious and maybe appreciate because they're the two words that we're probably going to use the most in our writing um, and cover them up and see if you can write them without looking so you can remember the spelling and then just try and pop them into a couple of sentences so you can practice using them in the right context as well. And then your word study session for today is done. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you back here again tomorrow for our new session. Okay, thanks. Bye.